Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new week. And welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and I am documenting my weight loss journey, showing you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into the video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I'm doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And yeah, let's get into this week's vlog. I am going to start jump roping. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, basically, I've had this jump rope for such a long time and have wanted to get better at jump roping. I used to jump rope a lot as a kid, doing like the double dutch and all that stuff. And it is a good way to warm up and I kind of want to do it. The reason why I never really did it in Colorado is because our apartment is a little bit too low <laughs> for me to do jump rope because I am 5'7". I don't know if I mentioned that before. I'm pretty sure I have. And our ceilings are about like six foot or something. Like they're not high ceilings. Like in my house right now in Texas, they are high ceilings. Like, I can't, like, there's still quite a bit of room there. So it's a perfect length for me to do jump roping without hitting the wall. But in Colorado, I can't. So I would have to, like, jump rope outside, and I just feel weird about it. But I'm just like, you know what? I will jump rope outside. I'm going to go and do that now. I'm wearing my leggings inside out. Because usually they have pockets no pockets so they're inside out that's okay i'm not changing it i'm not changing it at all <laughs>
I decided to do my makeup today so this is what I look like I am trying I am trying to have a normal routine because I haven't had a normal routine in such a long time so the goal is to wake up in the morning early work out immediately take a shower make breakfast get ready wear real clothes <laughs> And so that's what I did today. I did not wake up super early like I initially wanted to, but <laughs> my grandma's just coughing. She's fine, by the way, she's fine. And the noise that you're probably hearing is the washing machine because we're doing laundry. So apologies about that, but you know, this is real life. But anyways, I did not wake up that early this morning, but I did wake up early enough to get a workout in and I did some jump roping as you saw and jump roping is hard i'm like not good at it at all so my goal this might be lofty is by the end of next year to be able to go five minutes straight i say lofty because when i tried jump roping for like 30 seconds without stopping it was difficult and i'm in like zero altitude like i am at at sea level and so i'm just imagining myself trying to do it in colorado where we're a mile and a half like a mile high it's just insane i'm starting work ready started off it is uh off and popping today but as you guys saw i had some oatmeal this morning had no fruit because 
ran out of fruit, no bananas, and I have basically finished the sourdough pretzels over the weekend and then having the rest today. So my grandma's also had a couple handfuls. So it wasn't just by myself, but majority of it was. Um, I did finish that like the independent woman that I am. So yeah, am I proud of myself? Yes. But anyways, last week I ended at 221. So we're gonna try to get back down because the week prior was ending at 214 before I drove out to Texas, drove down to Texas. And yeah, I I need to get it back down. So the goal is Monday through Friday, well, Monday through Saturday, really, eating as healthy as possible. Well, maybe Monday through Friday because I do want to show you like my cheat day and I feel like my cheat day should be Saturday instead of Sunday because I don't vlog on Sundays, as you guys know. That's like my day off to like make sure everything is uploaded and ready for the weekly vlog, which I've been really consistent with, by the way, on uploading once a week. So I'm very excited for all the new faces that are joining. Thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this little family here on YouTube. It's just so cool to see more people subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment and interact with me here. I really, really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I am going to get started. Well, not get started. I've been started with work because it's 1035 here, which makes it 935 in Colorado. So I've been working for about 35 minutes. Well, actually earlier than that, because I think I started here around 930. So I started work Colorado time at 830. Also, my gums are getting so pink, which is so nice. I'm so excited. Oh, that reminds me. I got to show you guys a product. The brand Rituals, which you can buy at Sephora, reached out to me um, a month and a half ago, two months, and sent me their shower foam gel, which honestly, it really is a shower foam gel mixture because it doesn't like puff up so much with the foam because it has that gel-like consistency. And this is the Rituals of Karma, and the scent is Holy Lotus and Organic White Tea. Honestly, guys, I have been using this. This is made sustainably, and it smells so good. It makes my skin feel so incredibly soft when using this stuff. And I know you can buy this at Sephora. It is available at Sephora. Honestly, it is a nice luxe product, and Although there is only 6.7 fluid ounces here, a little truly goes a long way. I've been using it for about a month now and still have a lot left. You can't really hear it, but there's a lot of product in this bottle and I really like it. It smells really good. The scent is not too overpowering. It's it's just the right amount. It's not super subtle, but it's also not like so overpowering that you're like, oh, like it is such a beautiful scent. It's nice, light and airy, and it really makes my skin feel very nice and smooth and soft. And plus another added perk of this shower foam gel is that it is great to shave your legs with or your body. If you need to shave your underarms, your legs, whatever, it is great to shave with and leaves your skin feeling silky, soft, and smooth, girl. So yeah, definitely check this out. I'll leave a link below if you guys are interested in checking those out. But yeah, thanks Rituals for um, gifting me this product. I am not getting paid in any way, shape, or form to talk about this product. It is not an ad in the fact that they're paying me. They just sent me um, the products to see if I liked it and yeah I'm also I also have another product that got shipped to my house from rituals and in Colorado so I'm unfortunately won't be able to use it until the new year but I so far I'm really really liking it and I'm looking forward to trying more of rituals products so yeah I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested at all in trying their products as I said, they are available at Sephora as well as their own website, Rituals. So yeah, definitely check them out. I mean, it is 
a nice luxurious product to use and I'm not lying to you when I say a little goes a long way it's wonderful also another product that was sent to me that I really love and it's not an ad again like there are no sponsorships or ads that I'm getting from any of these brands but True & Co sent me two bras and they are some of the softest bras ever and so comfortable and so full coverage and they have a, a, a variety of different sizes and stuff like that my friends are i'm probably one of the smaller chested girls <laughs> on um amongst my friends and a lot of my friends have a lot bigger chest than i do and they have bras that fit them like i think one of my friends is an f or triple d and they have bras that fit her comfortably and they're full coverage and they have wired and wireless and they and she has a wireless bra and has no issues wearing it doesn't feel like it's gonna hurt her in any way shape or form like it really gives her um a lot of support with the wireless bra and i have two of their wireless bras that are just really nice i have the scoop neck one and it has a mesh back and it is so nice and breathable and it's like in a dark tan color so it kind of matches my skin a little bit and it is my favorite and then they have like this nice v-neck one with the racer back and that one is in like a mauvey purple color and that one is also really nice and the cups are removable and they're both wireless but they're super super soft and you can't even tell that you're wearing them under like your shirts and clothes and stuff like that and honestly they're just really nice to lounge in especially with us being at home all day like you just want to lounge in them so i'll definitely show you guys those later and i'll link true and co's bras that i got below as gifts but yeah that was another brand that sent me some products that i just really really loved and again i'm not getting paid at all i hope you guys know i'm not getting paid at all to talk about these products but i hope you try them um, and like them and my friends who have tried the true and co bras have loved them like truly have loved them and their underwear is also really good but their bras are just my favorite so they're nice and seamless a nice little seamless moment um, from their seamless collection. So yeah, I am going to Kiss her and work because I've been talking for like s s Too long. I've been talking too long as I do all the time to you guys, but Yeah I'll check in with you guys around lunchtime for my next meal why are you crawling on the floor? <laughs> because I thought you were in a meeting. <laughs> no! I told you I was out. No. And you were crawling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I hurt myself. Are you okay? Yeah. I just need to get off. <laughs> okay. okay. You got me. Okay, you got her off. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, thank you, Jessica. I can't believe you it's crawled. I was okay. crawling. I was crawling. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You didn't hurt yourself. <laughs> no, I just hated to crawl on this hard floor. <laughs> and see, when it's not that hard, I can't get up. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I appreciate you crawling, but no, if you would have been in shot, it would have been fine. They wouldn't have said anything. Because you just that's supposed to be personal. Oh, that was so funny. <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe you, can't you crawled on the floor. I crawled on the floor. Oh, that is so... You're 71 uh -huh. years old and you crawl. I crawled on the floor. <laughs> I wasn't in a meet. I, I thought I said that I was out. I'm oh, sorry yeah. you didn't hear me. I know you said you were in a meeting. I didn't hear you say you were out. Yeah. No big thing. You did it. <laughs> I'm going to go get my trash. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Are you okay? I did that either. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> All I was thinking, of, can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? But the gravity, man, it's bad. <laughs> Before I could get up, it just, I couldn't, I don't know. Anyway, let me go get this up. Uh, 
I, it is currently 1.25 and I am hungry. Also, I don't know if you can hear, my grandma's neighbor is literally just sitting in the middle of the street talking on the phone. I don't know why she's doing that, but it seems normal, so live your best life. But I'm a little hungry, I need a snack. So I'm gonna tuck into these dehydrated carrots. My grandma actually just tried some before she left and she really liked them. So I converted her guys. Just ate breakfast. I'm gonna have a few of these dehydrated carrots because I just wanna eat. I don't know, I'm just like in an eating mood. Like I just wanna eat all the things. I don't know what is 
with it. I'm not on my period anymore. That was the week prior, the week of Thanksgiving, so it was a perfect week to be on my period because I could eat all the things and give in to all the cravings. But yeah, I don't know why. I'm just in the mood. I think mainly the reason why I'm a little bit hungry after breakfast these past couple days especially is because I haven't had banana in my oatmeal. So that's usually the banana helps to like fill me up, but I think I'll just have to have an extra portion of like double my oatmeal so that I'm like fuller. Actually, I'm not going to have the um, dehydrated carrots. <laughs> I'm going to have one of these. So this is going to be my snack. put a little bit of this creamer in and then a little bit of the oat one now that has vanilla mm. taste it now so Don't, some maple caramel vanilla it doesn't it's not as hot but oh that's perfect mixing it with those two creamers and it's not that sweet no it's not yeah. that's why i said you don't need sugar yeah that's why i like to buy and buy this yeah yeah you really don't need sugar it's perfect <laughs> My face is a little puffy, but it's always puffy in the morning. <laughs> always got a puffy face. We're having you know some decaf I coffee. You, I thought about bringing you some of this crackers. Yeah, well, I'm I'm doing a lot better now, so I don't. So you see? Yeah. You're doing better, right? Duly noted. Do not eat like a week old no, potato no, salad because no, you I will guess. get food poisoning That's from that, it. Damn, not a good idea. And turn off the light. Ooh, this is good coffee. Yeah. Mm. See, that's why I said I'll go and, and join Sam's just to get this, <laughs> this box. Of just to get this coffee. Yeah. Of it. Wait, so where did you get that pod thing? The what? That thing that does the pods? The pod thing? I, went, I got it over at the Coles last year, a year before. Uh -huh. I bought it there and I, I had a coupon. Oh, nice. I have these, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? They have, you know, they give you this, these, these thing when you buy, they give you these certificates. So it's free. I had that and then I had a coupon with it. And it was enough for me to get it for free. <coughs> and, uh, Keurig had.
Good morning. I don't know if I've said good morning to you guys, but good morning. Last night, um, I was unwell, and today I'm feeling a bit delicate, so breakfast is going to be some saltines. Mm -hmm. I still can't get over the, the like the autofocus on this camera. It's so good. But anyways, woke up feeling um, a lot better, but still delicate. So had decaf coffee. I know some people are going to be like, why decaf coffee first thing in the morning? I have really been craving coffee. I don't know why, but I've been craving coffee. But the thing is, I have a caffeine sensitivity. And so does my grandma. She also has a caffeine sensitivity. It just makes us feel too jittery. And I think it's because we don't really need coffee to be awake. We don't need caffeine to be awake. I just don't. I can drink water and it wakes me right up. Um, I've always been that way. Never really needed to rely on coffee to wake myself up. My body just is able to do that on its own. There are days where I definitely do feel tired. And that's when I will go for a chai latte or a matcha latte because chai and matcha typically have enough caffeine to keep me awake. And I've always been a tea drinker because my grandma has always been a tea, dr tea drinker. And my entire life, she's had decaf coffee. And for some reason, I just crave coffee now. And because I have a caffeine sensitivity, I don't want to go with a full caffeinated coffee because it will make me feel insane, like literally insane. I will be too wired, too alert, and that's good sometimes when I'm really, really exhausted, but I'm not exhausted that way. So having decaf coffee with some creamer, perfect. Got my little Sprite, had this last night, a little can of Sprite. 90 calorie one, literally. So I'm gonna have that and get started with work. I will check in with you guys later when I'm about to eat my Panamanian soup. It has dumpling in it. It is so good with yuca. Oh, it is the best soup ever. I, I love it. I love it and I'm excited because today's the day I'm gonna learn how to make it because I've been wanting, it's like my favorite soup ever. My favorite soup in life. Have it on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah Black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day you're the only sunset that I'll never forget Red and orange sorbet like it is the best, yeah In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the 
So today has been very busy. So I'm having a little bit of this ice cream sandwich. I'm not having all of it. Mainly because it is very, very frozen. My grandma's freezer is really good. Mm.
All right, I'm having a small, small bowl of cereal. Um, and that, nut bar, and that nut bar um, from earlier. So I'm gonna show you my cereal now. So I got fries and she got an entire meal, right? Mm -hmm. Got you a sandwich and some mac and cheese. <laughs> she isn't, doesn't want to be bothered, apparently. You ...to see if your community has any, and of course it's always better to support your local community. Good. So I baked this bread, and the recipe says... Bake on some brown. <laughs> and she put it in I for two hours. But no, I didn't tell you to put it in I for how long. I said the, the temperature is 425. And these are so hard right now. She's putting butter on. I was in the shower washing my hair because... <laughs> you look at it. I was in the shower washing my hair and then drying because we're going to do my hair tonight. And this woman don't even look... <laughs> <laughs> we just got to do it again if it don't taste right. I mean, it's just probably burnt at the top, but... Yeah. Oh, it's so hard though. Well, you don't have to eat the top shots, Smith. True. I worked hard on making, uh, like, trying to make I'm a sorry, perfect. I, I never thought about it. You, I thought you said put it in for two hours. So I put it for two hours. Let me get some clothes off. Oh, my gosh. So I took them out of the pan because, you know, when you use parchment paper, it just falls out. So this is what they're looking like on the side. So not too bad, but hopefully it tastes really good I'm gonna let it cool for a while we're gonna do my hair and then hopefully the spread turns out okay it's just a little burnt on the top which I overreacted it's fine also I'm not like upset or pissed at my grandma I'm not at all it's just like funny because this always happens to her and I didn't think it would happen to her with me. <laughs> she just read it wrong. Oh, she misunderstood, but that's okay. That's okay. So if you're wondering if I'm upset with her, I'm totally not. It's like, honestly, it's just really funny. We all express things very differently, but it was a very comical situation. I wasn't upset or anything. I don't know why I'm justifying myself. It came out really good. I tried some. This is what it's looking like. It's pretty close textured, but honestly, it tastes really good. You can see right here, too. Take off a piece. Can you see? It's like trying to focus on all the things. Well, whatever. It's a little sweet, but it's really good. It tastes really, really good. Having a slice of bread with some lemon tea tonight. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday. I have a hair that is sticking to me. Okay, so as you can see, got my hair done. Um, got a very shorter, very short length here, but it's still gray and a little bit um, more like a white cream towards the bottom but yeah did the crochet braids as you guys saw but it looks like individual braids my grandma did such a good job but anyways the weigh in I weigh 221 <laughs> still the same which is interesting because yesterday when I weighed myself because I weigh myself every day I weighed 219 so I'm thinking oh probably today I'll be 218 made this bread here and had several slices so and it's like a thick cl quite close textured bread um, but it's still very very good so it's a very good recipe it's a little sweet but hey that is that is what I weigh so I can't be upset I just have to understand that that is what I weigh and that is fine um, I am going to make myself some hot chocolate actually this morning Oh my gosh. This is no longer good. 
so I can't use that hot chocolate. I need to tell my grandma that it's no longer good too, so she stops uh, having it. I'm actually going to make myself deep calf coffee and <laughs> as you guys know because that's all we have in here is decaf coffee because both my grandma and i have a caffeine sensitivity so i like having caffeine is only needed when necessary i mean this morning i would like it i feel like it would wake me right up but to be honest with you it's fine that i don't have it um because we're gonna be home anyway we're finally gonna watch the mandalorian last night we watched mulan while doing my hair like braiding my hair took the entirety of watching Mulan, the new movie on Disney Plus, and then we watched so many episodes of Star Wars Rebels while installing the crochet braids. So they are short, but you know, hey, I always go short somehow. I it's not like being this length is never like my favorite, but it always looks good in the beginning, and then I start hating it towards the end. All right, I'm having some spicy sausage with some mayo chup. Literally, that's what it's called, mayo chup. So it's mayo and ketchup together. Um, it's actually really good with the bread that I made. Toasted that with some butter and I'm gonna have some eggs on top and I made myself some hot chocolate with oat milk and a little bit of the salted caramel creamer. And then I have my water bottle back there. So that is today's breakfast. All right. So it is approximately two hours later and I am craving ice cream. So I got myself this ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna wait for it to, cause it's like rock solid. And I don't like ice cream that's rock solid. I like it to be pretty soft honestly because then it's more enjoyable because i can't chew very cold things my mouth i'm the way my teeth are set up it don't work girl so i'm gonna wait for this to kind of thaw out and i'm gonna finish this most likely it's 12 38 so today's a hodgepodge of different foods so i just had this snack these nut bars that my grandma has. They're so good, right, Grandma? Yeah. yeah. They're really good. We just picked up groceries from Whole Foods and now we're headed to Best Buy to pick up some items that we ordered. We're gonna do some curbside pickup because we just did curbside pickup with Whole Foods because it is curbside pickup life. And yeah, we're gonna head on this highway. We're just stopped at a light right now and heading to Best Buy. My grandma's currently making uh, we're having some baked chicken with some cabbage and broccoli for vegetables, and then she's making some sort of pasta. Yeah. Is it macaroni salad or something? Yeah, look at it. Oh, it's pasta salad, creamy Italian. Let me see if it yeah, probably does when it's creamy. I get the other one. No, me, yeah, it contains milk, so I can't Let have that. I mean, you can have it. I won't eat it. It's fine. I don't need to have that. You are okay. <laughs> Getting a little tipsy with this uh, spiked apple cider. That's really good. Yeah. I can have these two pieces? Sure. It's yours. Thank you. And then I have some chicken in there too. No, I'll just take the sample. I love sample. Salmon is my favorite. Good fats. Mega threes. Look at that. Killed it. Can you grace me with some vegetables too? When you're when you're done with yours? Yeah.
I think I'm going to end this week's vlog here. So if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and making it this far. I really do appreciate you sticking with me during this weight loss journey and during this year. Um, I'm very, very thankful for all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this past weekly vlog and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing and comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guy.